these next few slides contain three theorems that can be developed from the axioms and these three theorems can all be used to solve probability problems. So here is the first theorem and it states the following. For each event A, which is a subset of the sample space S, the probability of A occurring is 1 minus the probability of A not occurring. Now in order to do the proof of this result, a Venn diagram is going to be helpful. So I will go ahead and draw one down here. Here is the event A and of course the box is the sample space S. So here is the proof. Since S is equal to A union A prime, that's the same as saying, if I go ahead and shade A here, if I take A in union with what's outside of A, I get this complete sample space S. And furthermore, since A intersect A prime is the null set, there is no overlap between A and what's outside of A. So that's the empty set. And as an aside here, this is the same as saying A and A prime form what is known as a partition of S. Those two conditions have to be there to form a partition. That is, their union is the entire sample space and their intersection is the null set, which is another way of saying they're disjoint events. Then by using axioms two and three, you get the following string of equalities. And let's go through these uh, one by one. First of all, where does this one come from? P of S equals one. Well, that comes from the third axiom directly. How about this one right here? Well, since A and A prime are disjoint events, then their union can be found by adding up the uh, two individual probabilities, and that's exactly axiom two. Now, how do we link these two? Well, S is the same as A union A prime, and the reason for that is we have formed a partition because we have formed that partition that links these two together. And at that point, all you have to do is take the one right here and P of A plus P of A prime, put those two together and do a little bit of rearranging and you come up with the result P of A is equal to one minus P of A prime, which is exactly what we were trying to prove.